Hey guys, welcome back to TFNA Videos, and we're back again with another video. Now you may notice that that kind of looks like a fort. It is. We'll get into that, but there is something I want to show you real quick. Okay. There's my camera. Okay, I want to show you this real quickly. We just got on a milestone certificates from well I think they're from YouTube and TubeBuddy but I got them from TubeBuddy for passing up 30 subscribers and it dates the day April 06 2021 and then over here it says that we have passed the milestone of 7,000 views on my channel at April 12 2021 and then it says even a videos so I huh I I hung those up on my wall and I'm super excited about that. Let me turn my cam off now. Okay. So now that we are. Now that I got that out. Because I'm super thrilled about it. Um, now that we got those uh, taken care of. <laughs> um, there is something I want to tell you. Last time I checked. We still are 95. 98.5% of you guys are not subscribed so please help me out and let's see if we can get that number to drop and let's see if we can get the subscribe number to rise okay so I'm not sure we call it like a homeowner series we're gonna set up a shop and basically we f we do lawn care we uh, will fix your place up we will build buildings for you stuff like that and in case you did not know I actually used to work for a lawn care place um, I did weed whacking, mowing, fixing stuff up, and yeah, some of those places actually pay pretty good, but the issue is you got laid off in the winter time. I don't know if you guys, whoever worked like that, but yeah, I got laid off in the winter time. So, yeah. <laughs> so we might kind of do that a little realistically, like, um, I don't know, maybe we'll do some plowing for winter time, but um, I want to show you this off. I have not used this truck in a long time. Now I do have a little bit of a different version because it did not used to be lifted and you can't take off these dual fenders and you can't get single wheel. You're stuck with duals. And you can't take off these uh, mud pads. But yeah, also you can't take off these pipes on the bed, which is kind of sad. I'm not exactly crazy for pipes on my bed, but whatever. This is a Power Stroke F350. It's diesel. Um, it's got these little cab lights up on top. I wanted to get a visor, but for some odd reason, the visor was weird. It was like half sticking out like here, and then it was really far in on top of the cab on the other side. So, yeah. And if you look right here, I'm actually into the seat, which is a little bit weird, but whatever. So, we are on county line, and... I don't know where we should actually go to find a a good place to buy the land and uh, start one out. I'm not sure if we should do it like right here. That'd be kind of cool. We have tons of land for some equipment, but I don't want such a big place. So, I don't know. I kind of want a place... By town or outside of town? Just, you know, inside town or close to town. Maybe a little bit outside town. I want a place kind of in town, you know. That makes sense because most businesses are in town. So I figured we start up this series. So I post twice a week. So I figured um, we do the, whatchamacallit series. Uh, we're not going to stop at time. Right, let me pull a little bit off the road right here. Time signals don't work either. Okay. But, um, I figure I post twice a week, so I do one video of farming low note. Um, and then one video in this. Or we just kind of switch it up once in a while where we do one video of one of the those. And then do something else that I figured you guys would like. So... This will be kind of me um, trying to set up a place 
Right, we could buy this field, or just a little bit, like, blown a little bit. Whoa! Hey! Don't you see me? <laughs> okay, let's pull to the side of the road so we don't get rammed anymore. But anyways, come on, stop, stop. Today, today. Oh, wow. You see that? Those brake lights are really whacked up there in the fenders. Okay. So I was thinking we might be able to buy a little bit of this field or let the farmer, you know, kind of be like, hey, can we pay you for a little bit of your field so we can set a shop up there? You know, something like that. We do have enough money we probably could buy this field. Or if I can get out of here without hitting that. A bale road, really? Early to hit my app. Where else could we set up a shop? Hmm. Should we set up real close to TSC? That way we can get all our junk real close. Hey, there we go. That's a nice bare little area, ain't it? Let me pull into the Ford dealership and take a look over here. Put the, put the safety brake on. Okay, let me just take a look at this. This would be a fairly nice spot, wouldn't it? We have enough room, we could put it here. Got some timber back here. Yeah. We could even clear some of this trees out and put it back a little bit further. And that way we'd be in town. Oh, we got stuck in a tree. Yeah, I think this would be a pretty good place to put it. I think we might have found it. That truck just doesn't sound good to me. It sounds sick. <laughs> Okay, so where is the bank? Anyone know where the bank is on this? I don't know. I'll go find the bank and uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, so we just got done talking with the bank and uh, they said that that land is for sale and that we could actually have it today it's owned by the bank and we could just throw the cash in right there so I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna buy this land possibly I don't know if we actually I don't know I still think we should go with it let me see if I can okay so we did get the land sort of um turns out we couldn't buy the land but they will let us use it. Basically, it's kind of like uh, it's basically like how a lot of fields around where I live. Um, there's a lot of people that own the fields, but there's farmers that can't exactly afford to buy all these fields. So what they do is they uh, they will pay you a little bit of the profit if you're not using your field and they can farm that field and yet for us it actually takes our taxes down if we do that so because where we are if we farm our land farm a certain amount of our land uh, it actually takes our taxes down a little bit uh, land tax or whatever and so basically we're not have to pay so much on our land tax but the farmer is also giving us a little bit of money of what he gets off of that field so, it actually helps in two ways. So, we kind of did something like that, where if I anything I make, I, uh, off this land, off of my business on this land, I, I kind of paid to the bank a little bit. Um, but I did have to get some rights, and I own this little road right here, because that's owned by the city, not the bank. And they're like, well, if you want to put a driveway up here and all that stuff, you're going to have to... Uh, buy this little section here so I end up buying it um 
So yeah, let me just pull my truck over into the TSC parking lot so it don't get slammed or something. Actually, I'm going to go home and because I got to uh, put in an order for some equipment. So I'll be back the next morning and I'm parking. Um, set of park it here. Not exactly the prettiest job, but oh well. Kind of a tart parking lot. So they said the equipment should be rolling up real soon. What is this? What is that? That's an 8400 John Deere. Sweet. Can we stand on it? Tires seem like they're real, but the engine, you just go right through. Okay. Alright. So, I'm just standing here waiting for the equipment to come. Okay, I just got a phone call, and they told me that, sorry, we are not able to uh, deliver your equipment today. But they said it is at the shop. And so, I decided, well, let's just go on over there. Uh, I seen this really nice trailer. It's like, we gotta get that. That's gonna make this homeowner or whatever lawn care uh, fixer upper series so much better because of it. This this trailer is so nice and it's actually not too expensive and it's just gonna make it so much easier. Um, they called it Tilt Trailer, I think. Whatchamacallit? Trailer here. Whoa, 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 going a little too far back. This thing just rolls like heck. It just glides like, s there we go, finally. This thing just is so easy. By the time it you work, okay, everything about this truck is just so weird. I'm not going to ask any questions. Nope, not asking any. Okay, so I have no idea how we use this. Let me jump in my pickup and see. I'm guessing you'd hit something like X. There we go. Actually, probably before we uh, get it up there, we probably should put that bucket on the front end of this. So... I guess we could leave the bucket on there, but I was thinking we should just drop it right on up there. And we'll leave it on there, just set it on the trailer. And in case you've never seen one of these trailers in real life, once you start getting up there, it drops down. Instead of having to deal with ramps. But you know, that thing would be so nice to work on my, my the farm around here. I'm talking about real life farm, not FS19 farm. But it's kind of nice to use in, in FS19 too. Yeah. Let's see, can we strap this baby down? Not the right button, I did not need to hit that. Okay, apparently we can't. Let's see. Yep, we can. Oh well, let's just take off. Okay, so we need to get into flattening and all kinds of stuff like that, so... That's why I got this, we need to start scooping some land and junk like that. Stop, stop, uh, Car coming, come on. And here we are. Oh yeah, we also, this thing's gonna definitely help get rid of all these bushes. The last thing we need is bushes, you know, you know. Actually, probably should have straightened that thing out because it wasn't locked down and it kind of slid a little bit on me. Before we lift it up, we should have straightened it out a little. Yeah, 
Guess we're not gonna have too much of a problem. don't know whose wood this is so we're just gonna leave that wood there if we do need any extra room I'm probably gonna clear out a little bit of this land out that has the trees so this trailer is actually pretty nice let me shut my truck off okay so I'm gonna get to work and I'll be back in a little bit okay so let me show you what we all got done let me turn this off for a little bit okay so right here we cleaned out uh, some of this grass like there's a little bit still there but we're cleaning out this grass because I want to put uh, like maybe concrete or stone down gravel we cleared out almost all these bushes there's uh, like a pack of bushes over there but we cleaned out almost all these bushes so that's a little bit nice um, I've leveled out a little bit of land by with this guy this thing's pretty nice so we kind of might have to move this so we can get to this pack of grass that I want to get rid of right here or patch there we go patch of grass so let me just kind of scoot the truck out of the way okay so um, I'll get back to you in a couple of days, and yeah. So, yeah. so we got all this area kind of cleaned up. We got gravel put down, um, and we got the building built. Now I know it's not too big, but it's actually pretty big for an operation that we're starting out. It's actually pretty good size, actually. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um. Yeah, we're just leaving this running, so we have to pay for a lot of gas, or actually diesel, for this. So, yeah, there's a nice little path we can actually get squeezed through here with, like, a skid steer. And we could probably, I'm thinking, maybe drop the trailer back here, some stuff like that. I want to get a work truck something. Yeah, this might be my personal truck. But I kind of want to get, like, a work truck, especially being that we can afford one. And, yeah, I just want to kind of get some stuff like that, so... I'm going to go over to the dealership and see what they might have. And we're in walking distance, so that's kind of nice. I'll be back in a little bit. Show you, I'll show you if we get something. Guys, yeah, so we found something. It's not a Ford. It's not a Dodge. I was going between a Ford Raptor or... I know, this is something you've probably never seen on my channel. You probably have never seen one of these on my channel at all. Um, I think I did bring a GMC and the Lone Oak one. But this is a Chevy. That's right. It's a Chevy. How'd that happen? But anyways, I I don't know. I just figured, hey, I never brought one of these in on my uh, channel. We should do a video with this. And this is a pretty good work truck. It's, not, it's bigger than that one. And it probably could haul a lot of junk, and also, if you want, you could throw a couple bikes in the back here, too. And so, this is a Chevy 6.2 liter V8. And the story behind this is used, it's got 5.3 engine hours on it. The guy just bought it, and he used it for a little bit. He's like, this is a little too big for me. So he's like, hey, can I turn this in and get a smaller truck? So, he got a smaller truck, and we got this thing. The interior is really fancy in it. It's got a touch screen and a radio in there. It's actually pretty quiet. And look. The brake lights aren't in the fenders. Okay. Yeah, now I'm cracking on Ford. Well, no, it's just the modder that made this one. Kind of has some bugs to work out, but other than that, Oh wow, you can actually see me sit back in the seat. Watch this. Look at that. Never realized that before. This is a kind of a big truck for work, but who cares? Okay, so yeah. This took the cake over the raptor. Which I think it's kind of unique. Nice. Truck bed don't go down. Apparent oh. There we go. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> oh, this is a nice mod. And if you guys want, I will put a link to this down in the description. Okay? So, yeah, just pointing that out in case you guys want to get this for yourself. Yeah. Okay, buddy, we're going to just drop you off over here. Yeah. It just sounds kind of sick and not in a good sick. It's kind of... It's what it sounds like to me. Okay. Okay, so we should put down some, like, parking lot lines sometime. But... In case you wonder what color this is, this is called black cherry. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a nice color. It looks black. And then once you can't get close to it and the light kind of hits, it's like, it's kind of like a dark red. So I thought it was kind of cool looking. So it's like, that should confuse some people. Be like, yeah, you got a black truck. No, I got a uh, dark red. <laughs> you know? I thought that'd be kind of cool. And look. It doesn't suck the trailer hitch into the bumper. There we go. And everything's compatible. Oh, so much better. We had the money to waste, so why not waste a little bit, right? Okay, so now we need to work on getting some equipment. Um, I'm just going to pull this right back here. We need to work on getting some equipment. Because if we don't get equipment, we don't have a job to do. Or, well, we have a job to do, but we won't be able to get them done. And no one will be able to throw, want to throw business to your way if you don't have equipment to get the job done. So, let me just back this big beast up and turn it around. This thing is big. We just scratched it. Okay, so this is kind of like a light gravel, and over here we kind of switched up and got like a bigger gravel, kind of like a limestone gravel. Let me turn her off. She sounds better than that Ford over there. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to get some equipment, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got some equipment here. I don't exactly know what we'll all need for this, but I got some front lift thing arms, I guess we'll call them, for these two Ford trucks. Track trucks, yes. <laughs> Tractors. We also got this thing. We can put some grass seed in there and spread it on a lawn so then we can have some grass growing up. Like if we just got done doing construction and the lawn's all ripped up and ugly, we can throw that down there. We got this in case someone's not happy with their lawn. We can take this thing through there, rip up the lawn, fertilize it. I believe this is a fertilizing tank. I have to take another look. And then we can come through there and spray some good old lawn grass and make it nice and pretty again. I had this delivered and I don't know why they popped it over here. But anyways, we got this big old guy right here. I believe this is a case. Yeah, it says case right there. See, right there. White and yellow. By, by their little logo right there. C C A S E. So the case. Um, this might be a little bit too big of a tractor. These might just be perfect size. But let me jump into this. And this is the 2857 II. And if you have, oh sorry, the 8210. Right. Oh, that's just the logo. Yes, these are the 2857 II's, and if you have not heard of that, then you have not watched my last video. Um, and you should go because it is kind of helpful in case you're wondering how to modify mods. I will also put a banner up in the top corner. I think it's on the right side, something like that. So you can go click onto it and watch that video also if you want. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Is there some kind of hydraulics that I think I'm supposed to hook up? Or, guess not. Okay. Yeah, seems to work. 
We need to get some kind of attachments for these. But I figured there might be something we might need these for instead of using the care the skid steer. So I just grabbed these and plus they're fairly good sized tractors. We could hook up to that. For this baby right here. So anyways, this is gonna be the kind of the setting up of this. And the next video probably will be a job. It won't be like, hey, I just organized my shop. End of video. It's going to be uh, our first job, something like that. So, there we go. Got the PTO connected. So, we need to get a couple front loader, front attachments for this thing. So. I can't wait to get into uh, our first job on this series. This is going to be awesome. Oop. Kind of nice inside. A little dirty up there. Okay, let me shut her down. I know you probably should not leave it hanging there. I probably should have set it down, kind of keep it nice and organized. But I figured it out what the heck. Um, I did not put front weights on these because I didn't. I didn't realize that those guys kind of stuck out, kind of, they kind of cleared the weights, but yeah. This one's also got, uh, if you want to throw duels on there, you can. These are basically the same, except the one's got options to have duels, and right now it just has rear tire weights. Some pretty big sticking out ones, those things stick out good time. of an angle to the right or the left I mean yeah it looks good enough there we go also if you have not uh, joined my discord server yet uh, the link will be down in the description and sometimes you might find out what I've been doing like maybe I haven't been posting videos recently you might find some pictures or something up there of what I've been doing and why I haven't uh, been there it's kind of an easier way of informing people of what I've been doing than making a video of it like for example I've been working on a map so I think I posted like a video or a picture or two of me in working on map there. Also, if you uh, join Garrett Play's uh, official Discord server, you will also see some junk like that up in the off topic, something like that. Because I sometimes talk to people on there. And normally I don't really talk to people on there because I'm not, uh, I don't normally get much time to do that. Uh, we won't be able to use it on this tractor. I just realized oh, they don't have any uh, Richmond collets. Uh, I guess we'll just, because the name went out of my mind, I guess we'll just call it hose, hose, hose connecting. Hose connectors. But it still works. There's probably some other equipment I probably should get for this right now, but I don't know what we should get, so yeah, we'll just pull it right up here because I don't feel like backing up and dealing with this. Alright, so I'm going to pull the skid steer in here.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, me kind of getting this land, setting it up, getting this truck, <laughs> and stuff like that. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you are looking forward to the next video of this, please smash that like button and put down in the comments, hey, I'm looking forward to it, can't wait, because honestly, I can't wait either, I'm looking forward to it too, so, yeah. I hope you all have a good day or night, and stay safe, and have fun. If you're new here, please help me get that non-subscribed amount from 98.5 down, and please help me get the subscribed percentage up. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. See you in the next video.